When the weather gets like this, some of you can't wait to get out there in your camper van. Maybe you're going to hit up the slopes, you're going to go skiing. You are four season campers and that's awesome. For others, get out of here snowboard. I am hibernating for the next few months and you're going to store your camper van. I'm Steve DeVal from Thor Motor Coach and in this video we're going to take care of your electrical system and your plumbing system and we're going to start by winterizing your Truma Combi. Winterizing your Truma Combi can be done in a few easy steps. First, turn the furnace off using the control panel. It's going to take a few minutes before the furnace is completely shut down and you need to give it a chance to cool off. This way you won't burn yourself when you drain the water. While that's cooling off, go outside and turn off the propane at the tank. You can also shut off the gas supply by flipping this switch located on the unit. This controls the 12 volts to the gas valve. Once the furnace is completely shut down, turn off the furnace's electrical power supply. If you're connected to city water, disconnect it. Now walk through your camper van and turn on all the water faucets, hot and cold. Once the furnace cools down, you need to open the combi water valve to let the water drain. It's this yellow lever. Flip it 90 degrees to the open position. The location of the water valve will vary by floor plan. Remember, you can always find the schematics for your specific coach on the Thor Motor Coach Owner's Resource page. So go grab a bucket or something else to collect the water in and place it under your low point drain. Turn the valve and drain the water out. What you need to do now is see how much water you've collected. You need to be sure you get a minimum of 2.64 gallons of water in the bucket to make sure the Truma is completely drained. Otherwise, you run the risk of frost damage in the unit. Once the proper amount of water is drained, your Truma is now winterized. With our plumbing and heating taken care of, we're going to move on to the lithium batteries in the reliable power pack. Two areas of your van you need to be familiar with. Right up front with the Easy View 5 display, and in the back of the coach is where you'll find the safety relays for your lithium batteries. When it comes to storing your reliable power pack, you have a few options to make sure the Mastervolt lithium battery in your Thor Motor Coach stays healthy and is ready to use the next time you need it. The following steps are recommended if you plan on storing your camper van for more than three months. The easiest way is to plug it in. If you have access to power, you can use a 30 amp to 15 amp adapter cord to maintain the charge in your battery. In order to prevent an overload that might trip the breaker, you're going to need to change the ACN from 30 amps to 15 on your EasyView 5 control panel. What you need to do is tap the center box that reads 30 amp. On this screen, delete the 30, type in 15, now hit the check mark, that's it, you're done. Next step, go to your fuse box and turn off the main AC breaker. Now at your entry door, turn off the battery disconnect switch. Connect the plug to an outlet, and that's it. Your reliable battery system is set for storage. So what if your van has to stay out here and you don't have the luxury of plugging in? Not a problem. The first step is to charge your batteries. It's recommended to bring them up to 100% state of charge, and you can bring that charge up by starting the engine and letting it run. Taking a drive to bring those RPMs up is going to be quicker. Once you've hit that 100%, turn off the engine. Turn off the safety relay, and now the battery disconnect switch. That's it, you're good for a while. It's recommended you check on the batteries every three months and bring that charge back up to 100%. To charge the batteries, you have a few options. You can plug into shore power or run the engine. No matter what you choose, you need to turn on the battery safety relay. Let's fire up the engine and watch that display panel. Bring your state of charge back up to 100%. Head out back and turn off that safety relay. If you forget to check on the batteries and they drop below 10 volts or the state of charge is somewhere between 0 and 10%, they may enter sleep mode, so you're going to need to wake them up. If equipped, you may need to press and hold the emergency start button for 10 to 15 seconds. You can also connect to shore power. If you are plugging in, remember to set the AC limit on your display to the proper amperage. When the time comes to wake your van up after a long winter's nap, there are two things you need to take care of. On the EasyView 5 display, 
Don't forget to set the amperage from 15 back to 30 amps. That way you are ready for shore power. And if you are not plugged in for storage, head out back and make sure you turn the yellow safety relays on. And when you need to fire everything up in your van, make sure you turn on that battery disconnect switch. Now that your van is winterized and tucked away for the next few months, maybe you are inside planning out your next adventure. While you're online, don't forget to take a deeper dive into winterizing your camper van. You'll find all the information on the ThorMotorCoach.com owner's resource page.